Little amp, big sound. Hey everybody, Jay Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I am reviewing the Friedman Mini BE amp head. This is a 30 watt amp head by Friedman. And according to the specs on their website, it says the Mini BE has the same signature British voiced harmonics as Dave Friedman's BE preamp circuit. Uh, this is a 30 watt, uh, contains an effects loop and two speaker outputs in the back. As you can see here, comes with a 24 volt DC uh, adapter. So we've got volume, bass, uh, so three band EQ, bass, mid, treble, and we have a presence, and then we have a cut uh, switch, three, three way cut switch that cuts the gain. And we'll hear that in a minute. And then a tight switch, a three way tight switch. And according to the uh, user guide, it says the three position switch that varies the low bass frequencies of the amp. So we'll see uh, what that is here in a minute. So I got this one used off of Reverb for around $180. Uh, the retail price on their website is $249.99. And right now on Amazon, it looks like they're listed for $240.09. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm pairing it with this uh, particular uh, speaker cabinet here. This is the Monoprice 1x12 cabinet with a Celestion, a 12 inch Celestion Vintage 30. This is called uh, Stage Right Series. Uh, sometimes they're not available on Amazon, uh, so they kind of come and go and then you can get them off, I think, Monoprice's uh, website as well. But this one actually looks like it's available right now on Amazon and uh, that's where I got it from. And it's a really good sounding speaker cabinet. So what I've done is I've set up a SM57 uh, instrument microphone uh, just by itself, uh, running without any effects on it. And we're just gonna play around with the settings and uh, see what we can get. So here I am all set up in the studio. I uh, got the amp connected to uh, the cabinet and we'll just kind of play around with it and uh, see what kind of sounds we can get. And I'm using a uh, Jet guitar that I reviewed uh, in a different uh, video. So let's see, I got the gain maybe a quarter of the way. Let's turn that up a little bit more. Presence is up pretty high, I've turned it down maybe. So this cut lever, see what that does. Seems to soften the rough edges on it. That's back in the middle. And down. Let's mess around with this tight lever. This is on uh, middle, I think. Yep, middle. So it's supposed to affect the, the bass. tell a difference. Uh, 
I don't know. Maybe slight, very slight. So it's a really nice sounding amp. Uh, I don't, I don't have a reverb pedal <laughs> to run through it because I usually run all my effects through the DAW. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can just kind of crank the gain up. And... So it's really high gain. Let's crank up the volume on it a little bit and see what... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's super loud. Uh, turn the mic down a little bit. <laughs> It's loud, it gets loud. That's not even all the way up. Let's crank it all the way. So it's definitely loud. There you have it, that's the Friedman Mini BE uh, amp head. Um, pretty nice, um, pretty compact. I mean, it's really small. Let me see if I can, uh, I mean, that's it. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, <laughs> not any, not very big. Uh, it's got a little handle in the back. That's kind of nice. Um, I mean, the power supply for it is, <laughs> almost as big as the amp not really but you know so but it's got the sort of the nice uh thing that details on it that make it look like a marshall um but yeah it's a nice little amp uh probably be great for recording uh home home studio use bedroom studio you know whatever just a little amp that you can uh play around with uh, doesn't have a headphone jack though, so that's kind of that's kind of a bummer. But uh, yeah, anyway, there you go, Friedman Mini BE. Check it out. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.